Matt's is the trucking industry show, and it is presented for truck, parts dealers, and the public. It is a very exciting show because you never know what will be there. Mac, Freightliner, International, Peterbilt, Kenworth, Western Star, and even Volvo are known to set up massive booths to show off their trucks. Trailer manufacturers such as Great Day, Mac Trailers, Manac and other trailer manufacturers also show off their latest improvements. Though the big truck makers have been known to take a year off every now and then, so it's worth a look to see who's coming when planning your trip. I've been to the show many times, and every time i found lots of new products and methods to take care of big trucks. It's also a great place to catch up with old friends from the industry and to see lots of custom show trucks all in one place. If you haven't been to Matt's, are you really a truck fan? A trip to Matt's will bring you up to date on the latest improvements in the trucking industry and newest products. To keep your truck sparkling, hundreds of vendors from all over the world are present to introduce you to their products like oils, chrome, and cleaners. These vendors are selling the latest in creature comforts for drivers. You can find the newest types of oil and other lubricants to keep your truck running in top shape. Chrome products galore to dress up your truck and various reflectors and bright lights to make your truck shine in the night. You can truly find everything you could want for your truck and a whole lot more. These products are not just for the drivers. The latest tools of the trade for heavy truck mechanics are also there. New portable lifts are on display, toolboxes, and just about every tool imaginable can be found to fix any truck. A mechanic's dream. But the best part of the show is you see all of the new products on the market in person. Another major part of the show is driver recruitment. Recruiters from small to giant fleets are present to try and get new drivers to sign on with enticing pay and benefits packages. Matt's truly is the show intended to promote the tough men and women who keep America moving. So, Plan on spending a day or two in Louisville, Kentucky next March at the exciting Mid-America Trucking Show. And here we go, guys. This is the 2024 Mid-America Trucking Show show model. It is the brand new Kenworth W990 tooling with the Mississippi uh, propane pressure tank bottle trailer. It is a DCP by First Gear, and these sold out at First Gear on the second day of the show early. So they sold really fast and they only made 504 of them like they do with all of them. So it's a pretty limited and hard to get model now. The item number is 69-1825. The model comes in the standard DCP by First Gear box with the two-piece blister. They didn't make a special box because it didn't run enough of them. However, they did include two extra mirrors, so you have the extra set of mirrors in the package. And there it is, out of the package. Isn't that a sharp paint job? Now, I'm not a big fan of the W990, but I really like the paint job they put on this one. That striping is really, really cool on the black cab. Now, we'll start off with the trailer. I mean, we've talked about these trailers several times. Go back and see my two videos well, three videos on this particular trailer, including the one on the company that made them, Mississippi Tank Company of Hattiesburg, Mississippi. I'll have them linked down below. So I'm not going to go into detail on the actual trailer. But this is the triaxle version, which I haven't talked about before. And the triaxle version does have something different. It has the single hump fenders over the three axles instead of the uh, regular over both tandems at the same time, which is a little more showy. Tin hole chromes and all the stuff that we are used to having when it comes here. It does have the Mississippi Tank Company logo tampoed here, which is new for this trailer. I've never seen that done before. 
And for graphics on this trailer, it has a similar black paint scheme on the bottom with some red striping, which is really, really cool. Pulled the cab into the trailer. They added the Mid-America Trucking Show logo. It's also got some silver graphics, you know, looks like roads and highways and all of that on it from a map. Then they put 52 years because this is the 52nd year of the show. Now we'll go up top. They've still got the, the black. They pulled it all the way around. They got a similar paint job on the passenger side. This side there, they added the a logo again from Mississippi Tank Company, and you can see the valves underneath, which is very, very different. I mean, they didn't have this logo before, so that's pretty cool. Got the pipes on the side, side marker lights up there on the front fenders. It has hard plastic mud flaps with the MATS logo on the front. Then on the back, we have the dates, March 21 through 23, 2024, and the Kentucky Exposition Center, which is where MATS is held right there on the back bumper. Then we have just plain black mud flaps at the bottom of those fenders. There's also a 1075 flammable placard on the back and a fire extinguisher right there. Brake lights tampoed as are the DOT stripes. We also have another hazmat placard on the front and then here is where your airlines and electric lines hook up to the trailer. Really, really good trailer, a heavy trailer and I've always enjoyed this trailer. The three, I wish they had made the tank a little bit bigger or a little bit longer for the three axle versus the two axle, but I know why they didn't. So it's the same tank on both, just a different chassis. Set the landing gear and let's go on and look at the track. And this is the newest tooling to come out from first gear. There's a couple more already scheduled to come out this year. So if this color scheme or you couldn't get your hands on one of these because these were very hard to come by um there are more w990s coming very very soon this one has the stand-up sleeper but it doesn't have the super high fairing there's no back fairings on the back of the sleeper which is common for tanker guys now big trucks they usually have with box fans they usually have the fairings but uh, tanker guys and even flatbed guys, a lot of them don't run these back fairings on the back of the sleeper. So that's a cool option. It's got the window so you can see inside the sleeper. I don't see any real detail inside the sleeper. It has high back seats, steering wheel, dashboard, and an automatic transmission inside. Striping is really sharp. Kenworth logo here on this weird air intake thing. And W990 Tampo there. Def tank. It has side stacks, however, they're fake, just like on the real trucks. Fuel tank there. We go underneath, and what's missing underneath is the actual underbody exhaust. W990s have underbody exhaust, not actual stacks. The stacks are fake. Has positionable, but not steerable, front end. Soft rubber tires with their nice tread patterns. And 10-hole chrome wheels on these guys. Drive shafts, differentials. All of the stuff that you would expect on a DCP. And then there is the complicated muffler system. What a pain in the you know what these things are. Passenger side, just like the driver side, W990, door tampo there. There's a little grab bar on the uh, exhaust heat shield. And then there's an extra little minor mirror up top. Then the mirrors stick out on a single post here like it, Kenworth is very, very fond of. Then it's got a reflector and marker light there. Little bitty mud flap hanging off the back. The hood does tilt, but that part stays behind of the fender, so it makes it a little easier to get in. I'm sure that's a Packard engine, even though it's not painted Packard red, but it's probably the Packard engine that they modeled this model after. There's the air cleaner in right there, and turbo piping, all of the detail under the hood you would expect. It has chrome quarter. Uh, half fenders here, chrome brackets on the mud flaps, and Matt's logo on the back. Fifth wheel here for their trailers, brake lights there, airlines hanging off of a bracket, and they're the curl cords that they're famous for. It's got a grab bar there to help climb up on the back, but no uh, ladder there to help you get up onto the deck plate. Top, the stripes go over the hood and over the cab. They chrome plated the visor and then they tampoed the orange marker lights. Really nice. These chrome air intake thingies, they kind of 
clip up onto the top of the hood with a little cutout. Not really sure what Kenworth was thinking with that, but it looks cool. But you got a little bit of chrome there, which is going to flash in your eye when the sun hits it. Lovely. Got the chrome grill with the big wide bar that gets tapered bar there. The Kenworth logo in the center. Then these nice molded in headlights. They're nice um, dual style individual clear plastic put in. Real nice model. They look probably better than the real ones. As does this little grill. Ah. Uh, Truck might start growing on me, but I'm still not a fan of the real truck. But this model, it looks really good. And then there is the chrome bumper. Overall, I think DCP has done a really nice job on the W990. And they did a really good job on the paint scheme this year for mats. So, I understand exactly why this one sold out. It, it was a, the first release of the W990, which the collectors have been waiting for for quite a while and a really really cool paint job plus they didn't junk it up with a junky trailer they gave it a really nice showy detailed trailer and they don't do too many of these mississippi tank trailers so you don't see a whole bunch of them out there so that makes it even a little more desirable that way so let me know what you guys think of this truck it has the wheels that are designed by kenworth for it on the truck and regular tin holes on the back and drop your comments below what you thought of this truck if you've got one let me know what you think of it if you've had it in your hands and if you went to the show let me know i'd really love to hear it and that my friends is the brand new tooling the kenworth w990 with a stand-up sleeper pulling a triaxle mississippi tank trailer for mats it was available only at mats and sold out quickly so if you want one, they'll be on the secondary market. Have you ever been to Matt's? If you have, did you get one of the show trucks as a souvenir? Let me know down in the comments below your experiences, and maybe next year we can all meet up at Matt's. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with some new content and another episode of Toy Talk.